What's up, Knuckle Up? So here we go again. So today we're going ahead and I'm working on Tim Wade's BTK system. So last time we covered his basic thrusting, which was pretty much one, two, three, and then slicing it down. Today we're going to take this blade and pretty much put it in a reverse grip. As he says, we're always going to want to go ahead and put the thumb on the top of the knife. One, to keep it as we're stabbing so that my hand doesn't slide forward, and two, to give me more control of that blade. So what I love about his system, he breaks it down to two basic movements of fluid and broken. What I really like, it's really gross motor caveman movements. So his basic fluid to broken motion is, for fluid, it's one, two. So pretty much cutting in that X motion. Now his broken movement, once again, adding that prison style sewing machine to the neck area is one, two, fluid, one, two, fluid. So broken, broken, fluid, broken, broken, fluid. So that's how you pretty much work at the stabs and then follow through. So now how would I take that basic fluid and broken movement, add it to a half diamond and then add it to my wall drill to work on impact. So basically there's three ways that he teaches. There's one off a conversation stance, one off a more of a fighting stance, and one incorporating a jab to the movement. So basically, I'm gonna cover this very slow. So working off this conversation stance, the first thing we're gonna do is a fluid movement to a broken movement. So I'm gonna take my left leg and I'm going to step. Taking my left hand, always keeping it on the inside. So fluid, and then I'm gonna step again and go to broken. So as you can see, once again, it's fluid, broken. That's a conversation stance. Now how would I work that exact same movement more off this fighting stance? I'm gonna add a shift to the back leg. So once again, one and two. So doing that one more time, adding a shift of one and then coming in, once again with that broken movement to the throat. Now how would I work the third one is now adding a jab. So once again, going more towards this conversation stance, I can even be where I have this cuff where you don't see it. I'm gonna throw a jab, once again through it, once again broken. So it's a very basic gross motor movement that really anybody can do. One, three. Now, that's basically using this diamond here to kind of help me with the movements. Now I'll take you to where I'll practice impact. And you can see again, I have this reverse triangle here, or this part of a diamond that's gonna help me work the same thing that I worked over there. So again, off this basic conversation stance, I'm gonna go fluid, broken. Fluid, broken, but now adding impact and target acquisition. Once again, if I take it off this fighting stance, one, two. And again, if I throw in the jab up, one, two. So you can see it's a great movement, especially if you're working it off a of boxer stance here. As you can see, that, that shift of one coming off at an angle and then just shooting in is golden. All I need from here on that first shift is for somebody to move on the back fall, because once I come in, it's down. So once again, that's just something that I took out of Tim Wade's PTK system of basically working a half diamond of working it with more of a fluid to broken. Let me know what you think.